Every man should be able to tie his own bow tie. Only boys at prom wear pre-tied bow ties or clip-on bow ties. You should never wear that. It shows, it's too symmetrical, it's too perfect, and it looks cheap. Elegant men like Winston Churchill would always wear their bow tie, so it was slightly askew. And uh, that shows the true character of a perfectly tied bow tie. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I give up. I think most people know here, but as many of you don't, his father passed away a few years ago. It was in that instant that I watched Ung grow into and become an even stronger, uh, compassionate individual. Not only was he able to somehow continue on through residency, uh, but he stepped up to care for his family and took on this role without reservation. Throughout these times, these tough times, Nina was always there for him. I think that was something that just really stood out to me. Uh, her unconditional love and support for him never wavered. Uh, during that time, she was his rock, and I think that that was, you know, a true telltale sign, in my opinion. It's something that, you know, I saw at that moment that I knew their love was something special, and I knew that they were meant to be. People always ask, so how did this first start? Many of you may not have heard how they first met. Um, see, we've all worked together in the hospital, and when patients aren't doing well in the hospital, they initiate something called a rapid response, which is basically, <laughs> right, a response that's supposed to be pretty rapid, mobilize people to get together and come and, and help the patients that aren't doing well. Well, during one of these stressful times, Alan was the resident on rotation, and he was called to the bedside to help stabilize the sick patient a patient that was under Nina's care at the time, diligently trying to make her feel better. This was the first time they met, and just as tonight, and today, Nina made a lasting impression. The patient was stabilized, and Ong moved in quickly. <laughs> no question. Five minutes. So good. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Nina enjoyed playing hard to get it first, but in the end, on swap, <laughs> one a day. The rest is history, and now all you see before you today. one of the most kind-hearted people I've ever met. Uh, she's uh, beautiful inside out. Uh, she's so generous and caring. And the past two, uh, few years have not really been easy for them. I know it's been a very uh, difficult few years, but uh, despite everything, their um, compassionate love and understanding for each other. And I'm just really overjoyed for uh, their upcoming adventures. And, So Nina and I known each other way back before we even know the word friendship. It grew and grew as years went by. We played long distance for quite a while, yet we still managed to keep up with what's new regarding this and that. 
then she told me about Ong. Um, with all that jittery high school boys that only she can pull up, that moment I had a feeling that she, he might be the one. is only for mature people. And what does it mean to grow and to be mature? That you are willing to give up. You are willing to share yourself in this whole relationship. going to be a little hopeless here. We're going to have to find someone really special for him. Uh, he's never going to be on time to dates. You know, we're going to have to teach him a little bit about romanticism and how, uh, how to do this. Um, but he really stepped up and I think he, he found someone really amazing in Nina. And I think all of us at this table have really enjoyed uh, watching them grow together over time. Did you sleep? That's not a little bit. Good enough. That's luxury for me. Yeah, um, I'm so happy for both of you guys. Um, a little bit emotional too. I'm gonna miss you. And um, I've been married myself four years now. And one thing I can tell you or um, just make sure you guys keep love, faith, loyalty, and keep God in the middle of your relationship. Okay? I've learned that and um, it works really well.
I am proud to present to you the newly married couple. I will 